This video is proudly sponsored by Gamersgate. Download games anytime, anywhere. Visit Gamersgate.com. Hello and welcome to Elder Speak. This is Tuesday, June 5th, uh, the second day of E3 2012. Uh, Rando Calrissian is still out. Uh, and in his place is me, editor Trevor Faulkner, and my special guest is podcast non-fame Adam Maldonado. Hello. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to be played in the background today. Uh, we, without Randy here, we're having some trouble getting footage for uh, our E3 shows. Uh, we're going to try to put some pictures up at the very least and post some links underneath. So anything we talk about, you'll probably be able to find in the the links below. Uh, we're just going to start off right off the bat. Uh, this actually happened yesterday, but as of the recording, uh, we didn't cover it. So uh, we're going to do a little bit about the Sony press conference that happened yesterday. Um, first and foremost, they opened their show with a game that I actually am really excited for, which is uh, PlayStation All-Stars. Yep. Uh, for anybody out here, out there, who likes... Super Smash Brothers style gameplay or a fighting game, I guess you can call it. That seems to be what they are going for, and it actually looks really fun. I um, it, it's it's basically Smash Brothers in the sense that you get four characters that are around, they punch each other. Uh, except you can't actually kill anybody unless you work up your Street Fighter style special move. Your hyper gauge. Your hyper gauge and knock somebody off screen. It's cool though. Rap the rappers in it. They got a couple other characters. I want them to go like crazy old school though, and like pick up. Like I want to see Crash. I know it's not really yeah. old school, but like I want old. I want Gex. I want yeah, Gex the Gex Gecko. Gex Croc. Oh, uh, we need to have some yeah, Croc. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna do it, like, when, when Nintendo did it, they, yeah. they did it up with, like, you know, Game & Watch was in it, NES and stuff. Yeah. Really want to see some, like, not all, like, mainstream uh, PlayStation characters. At least some, some levels, I think, would be pretty awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and to have a game where Parappa the Rapper can beat Kratos from God of War, that, to me, is hilarious. <laughs> or Crash Bandicoot against, say, Big Daddy from Bioshock. Uh, which was announced during the conference. Yeah. Uh, actually, it was leaked a little bit beforehand, but they did show off a very little bit of Drake from Uncharted and Big Daddy. Um, all in all, that game looks like it's shaping up pretty well. Uh, after that, they did almost none of this, but is is what I wanted to hear the most about, which was Vita coverage. Yeah, the Vita coverage kind of mixed with their cross-platforming. Uh, a lot of people, after looking online, were a little bit upset because they wanted things solely for the Vita. And what it seemed Sony was trying to push a lot of the times was things that were both going to be on the PlayStation Network as well as the Vita. So we had our PlayStation 1 titles that were going to go on there. Uh, you had PlayStation All-Stars that was going to be both for PlayStation 3 and the Vita. Not really many games specifically devoted to the Vita, and I think it upset the people who bought it at launch and have been a little bit depressed as it at its sort of lackluster launch titles and everything else that has come out with it. And I mean, I'm, I've been I've been kind of disappointed. I have a Vita. I've been kind of disappointed with it. Um, I will say, being given the library of uh, PS1 games really does make me way happier. Yes, I think that the the older crowd that has the Vita is going to be very happy being able to play the old Final Fantasy games, mm -hmm. those type of games, because, I mean, I don't know about you, but we always just talk about how the games that we played many years ago are so much better than the games <laughs> we play yes, now. which they are. So, we're a very easy generation to please, just give us what we had before, a little bit nicer looking, and we'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, I, I like to think, though, when it comes to the Vita, if everybody who's fretting about the Vita, Sony doesn't... <laughs> Sony a lot of times doesn't make the best games for that platform anyways. Yeah. So I'm hoping that it's maybe too late in the conference to have this hope that at some point we'll start seeing someone show something about the Vita. Other than the fact that it's getting Hulu and uh, yes. a couple of the other platforms. Well, one of the, the rays of hope that the Vita has is the fact that they are going to be bringing Call of Duty to mm -hmm. the Vita, which has a chance to push the handheld itself if they can get even a fraction of the population that plays that game to buy the handheld, it could actually give the DS a run for its money. Yeah. Unless Activision goes ahead and says, 3D Black Ops. <laughs> and, and then 
all bets are off. Uh, they also mentioned that uh, PlayStation All Stars will also be on the Vita, and that'll have the cross-play function mm -hmm. with the internet. And uh, they also gave a really brief talk about the PlayStation Plus uh, yes, subscription. Which which a lot of people now are online saying that they are hoping that Microsoft's response is to make the gold live free. Not gonna happen. Probably not. not gonna happen. They like swimming in money. Well, people still pay for that. Uh, and they do. But uh, subscribe to PlayStation Plus and you can get a slew of free games uh, like Infamous 2 Infamous and two, yes, uh, Saints Row the Third. They had also Just Cause. Mm -hmm. They had actually a bunch of games that decent I, list. Want, I wanted to play. Yeah. yeah, decent list, a bunch of ones I didn't play, which is why they're probably free yeah. on uh, on that platform. Uh, they showed off their newest God of War game, yes. where you can stab goats uh, as hard as you can. They didn't show any of the multiplayer, though, but for anyone who's a fan of God of War or just good-looking games in general with ultra-violence, it looked uh, really, really cool. A little bit of ultraviolence. A little bit of ultraviolence. Ultra I gotta say, I like my ultraviolence. I thought God of War got completely trumped by the next thing they announced. And that was the Wonder Book. That is true. The Wonder Book, the only thing I've ever seen to make reading look less fun. That's true. And if there is anything that I want to be above an angry god, it is a novice wizard. A novice wizard? It is a for novice that. wizard who... I, because when I do spells, I think of myself as an overweight soccer mom. Yes, sitting who, on the floor, not being able to open the door. Who cannot actually make uh, a Z correctly <laughs> in the air, and 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 the announcer actually has to remind people this is a live See, demo. I find myself to be more of a smiling Asian lady who, uh, who does everything right, who does everything perfectly on the yes. first try, and kills a paper dragon. Yes, and kills several paper butterflies, and is reminded by the announcer, "Don't you do that in real life." There's consequences, kids. You just cannot use magic willy-nilly. So if you're walking around, you know, you're you're reading, let's say, Game of Thrones, and you're like, man, this stuff is too heady for me. Well, guess what? You can get in and stare at your books instead of read them. And J.K. Rowling will laugh all the way to the bank with your money. Uh, I, a preview I did not laugh at, and in fact was appalled in my heart of hearts watching. Yes, I, I needed to shower after watching the gameplay footage from The Last the of la Us. Oh my god, that was the most it was stressful one of the, it thing It was one of watch. the first games that I watched where you knew the guy was playing the main character, but you didn't know whether he was bad or not. <laughs> yes, the people that he killed looked very haggard and looked like, hey, this guy probably would stab me for a bag of pretzels. But it looks like everybody there would stab you for a bag of pretzels. But this guy... Pretzels are a hot commodity yeah, in the apocalypse. But this guy future. beat someone's head into a dresser for one pretzel. <laughs> I just, like, the whole time watching it, like, I, I've played uh, Uncharted, which is the same developer, and I, I, I kill 800 people without sweating. I'm watching this guy kill, like, two, and I'm like, what did they do wrong? <laughs> what did they do wrong? Like, the guy was literally opening a drawer, possibly looking for maybe <laughs> a photo. folding socks. Yeah, He's... maybe a photo of his family. I don't know. He may have been a, a tenant in the building. Picking up his world's nicest man award. And, uh, boom, broken neck. Stole your gun, shot the other guy in the face. <laughs> it's just death. Oh, man. I believe if the man had a bag of puppies, he would have probably drowned them. Now, you know the thing, though? I want to drown those puppies too. Exactly. Now. I think everybody wants to drown those puppies. It's, it is very true. Like the discussion we had last night when he, when the last scene where he shot the guy in the face with the shotgun, you said I wouldn't shoot him. I'd just beat him to death with the shotgun because I don't want to waste the shell. I think it's important. I feel that that is really going to be a statement as to where we've, how far we've come as a society. I'm really going to bring out the homicide. Yeah, are you, are you going to be this. the senseless killer or are you going to be the efficient killer? <laughs> it's an important thing. That's what it comes down to. Um, uh, what, 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 something, speaking of killer, I'm going to do as many segues as I can. Right. Speaking of killer, uh, something that had nothing killer to look at was the uh, the Nintendo presentation. The, the Wii U. I was personally most... I thought Usher's performance was better than Nintendo's oh, at this year's really, E3. Really? That's the highlight of E3 right now for me. Uh, we'll go through this pretty fast. First, uh, Miyamoto came out and showed us all Pikmin 3, which is, you know, just more Pikmin, but 
it's been long enough that you've liked Pikmin, yes. you probably just want more Pikmin. Yes, I mean, I feel if you, if you played the first two Pikmins, this has Pikmin with rocks, and you now play it while holding a Kindle Fire. <laughs> I, I, I think that, you know, the people who play Pikmin, they're pretty easy to please. Yeah, I, I think all of us who I, like Nintendo are pretty yes, easy Yes, I to think please. we are. I mean, I bought a Wii, so I can say that, yes, I... I bought that system for something other than Wii Sports. Now, I know everyone is saying out there, is there something more for the Wii than Wii Sports? Yes, it charges things. It charges controllers? You have yeah. a USB device? It does. You can charge it. It is a marvelous charger. And then, you know, Nintendo charged right into their next uh, <laughs> exhibit. Oh, I like that. Which uh, was, and uh, this is my the only retraction I will ever give, because I'm always right. Um, the game we talked about yesterday that was in the most offensive portrayal of America was not yes. called Shooter as it was listed okay. on his controller. It's called Zombie U, um, which, although it looks interesting, I'm not sure how successful it'll be. Zombie U is a first-person zombie survival horror game coming out for a Nintendo console. Who knew? And uh, you use the Subway Sandwich controller to manage your inventory, snipe, do just about... Anything in the game has to be done with that controller. Yeah, I feel that with my ADD, having two screens that are not attached to each other like a DS, I'm gonna mess up. I am putting my, I'm putting, uh, this is this is a bet. You guys can can catch me on this later on. I'm betting people, everybody out there, on rails. On rails. It's gonna be on rails when it comes out. They're gonna get halfway done. Go. We can't do this. I don't. And then on rails. But Trevor, I saw that you can hack a door. You can hack a door. Which you that. That and somebody was sniping, and he was checking that that can't be on rails. All I know. You think it has couch co-op? <laughs> uh, all I know is that, uh, as a rule, you should never end your preview of a video game with door hacking. That's true. That's, that's that the is last possibly thing. the least interesting thing. Is it less interesting than New Super Mario Bros. U? That is very true. They go coin crazy. They go uh, coin crazy is the uh, DS version. Really? Yes. We'll oh, talk about that later. I, I inadvertently got ahead of myself. Yes. This is the one where people can yell at you. Okay. Um, and you play Super Mario like it's always been. Oh, okay. There so is... every game for the Wii U. Yes. Because everyone's going to chime in and laugh at you because you didn't beat that last boss in their time. Yeah, I think it's most important to know that if you are excited about a Super Mario game, just go play Rayman... Uh, Rayman Origins. Rayman Origins, because yes. it's way better than any super new Super Mario game and will I, ever manage to be. I did see he has a flying squirrel suit. It looks like a squirrel suit of some kind. Uh, I guess we'll find out more. Have they taken away the raccoon suit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know we'll, we'll we'll contact uh, Miyamoto and ask him that directly. Yeah, we, we we've sent we've just sent an email. We're waiting for his reply. We hope to hear back in probably about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. He's really fast. On More that. like twenty years, which is how old these next games are. <laughs> um, the Wii U announced a bunch of its other games, which if you've owned any console in the last five years, you probably already played. Uh, Mass Effect Three, Arkham City. Uh, that whole shebang, all with new touch controls. You can put uh, more of your explosive gel on walls That's in true. the new Arkham City game and activate them individually on your touch screen. Now, now see, as, as much as we give, as much grief as we give Nintendo, I feel that they have reached every demographic, including that one guy who saw the commercial for Mass Effect and Arkham City only having a Wii going, I wish I could get that. I wish I could get that. I wish I could get that. And I wish I could somehow control it using this Kindle Fire tablet that I have. <laughs> uh, the other things you can do with that Kindle Fire tablet are play some of the uh, most exciting games announced for the Wii U. Games such as Just Dance 4, uh, which now you can have one person, most likely the fattest person that's one of your friends, sit and select the dance moves you and your friends are going to have to do. So I imagine it is a torture simulator. That is true. Where one one fat slob sits on the couch and tells his skinny friends what to he's, do. He, he, he's the guy that they refused to play D&D with, but they had to come to some sort of compromise. Yeah. So he still controls He them. has a glandular problem, <laughs> so he can't move a lot. He's but gonna, you can have him on the couch, and he can hit the controller with his meat hook hands. with it. And he's going to control you, and he's going to say, dance, puppet. Dance, my dance, puppet. <laughs> dance. Uh, um, we have uh, the... We Fit You, yes. which is... Uh, it, it's, it's just like We Fit, except now you can buy another peripheral that uh, is a pedometer that hooks up to your Wii U, and then it 
adds in points which, for which your... I feel if any of you watched the video out there it was this what seemed to be a couple competing on how many calories they can lose and the one person who won was the one who didn't use the Wii Fit but did most of her exercise outside yes. because she said, oh, this was the jog that I did this morning. And the guy was like, well, I just burned 140 calories because I made pretend I was bobsledding on my couch. I think it's important to note that uh, from a marriage standpoint, the only exercise challenge me and my wife have is who can not exercise the most because, <laughs> I mean, she's not leaving. And or who, who, I'm can, not going who anywhere. can spend the most money to make it look like when guests enter your home that you I <laughs> am conscientious about my body. Uh, if you are conscientious about your body, you might also be conscientious about your voice, which would bring you not wanting to get sing for the Wii U, which I am amazed that... The name Sing for a video game has not been copyrighted or patented yet. Uh, I, I, I don't think you can copyright an action. Well, they you? just did. I don't did know. They? I mean, I don't know. Uh, you gotta pay somebody every time you say it. I mean, I, I hope not. No one's gonna use it, Man. so you're gonna yell into your Kindle Fire. It's <laughs> true. It does have a built-in mi You know, I really thought that they were gonna put, like, a microphone peripheral on, like, the Wiimote, because I feel that holding that is like a microphone. I mean, okay. But instead, you're going to scream into a table, into <laughs> um, a very tiny table. The most I thought the most impressive part of the um, the Nintendo's conference was the brief 3DS, like two minute 3DS spiel they gave. Uh, they're going to have a whole nother uh, conference tomorrow, hour long, uh, on the 3DS. But they showed a few games, which was uh, Luigi's Mansion 2, Dark Mansion or Dark Moon. Dark Moon. Which uh, it looks more like Luigi's Mansion, but if you like, like we've said with a lot of Nintendo games, if you liked Luigi's Mansion, that's something you've been looking for. Uh, yes, player. And you haven't been playing any 3DS games for years. Um, Paper Mario Sticker uh, Sticker Star, which is Paper Mario, but your moves are based off of stickers Almost that you stickers. peel off the yes. background and stuff like that. Uh, and then they flashed a few other games, like the new Castlevania, uh, a new Epic Mickey game, which. Reminded me of the SNES uh, Mickey game. Yes. I wish I can remember the name of it right now, but I used to rent that from Blockbuster. Oh, uh, I have a all feeling we've lost a lot of our younger audience. <laughs> Just there. by saying Blockbuster from uh, uh, Game Zone, which was the movie gallery. Do, do you mean those stores that are always trying to shell sell me their shelves? <laughs> they try to sell you the lighting fixtures. Uh, and they showed off the new Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, they ended their presentation with a theme park game that none of us care about. So. I'm not even going to bother talking about it. Uh, instead, I'm going to jump on to our last uh, show and read off a comment from one of our viewers, which was Mr. Statist X, uh, who said, After seeing the Watch Dogs gameplay video, I don't want any other game anymore. Uh, I thought it was important to read his comment because we didn't see that, uh, that trailer until after we signed off uh, last time. And it does, in fact, look. It does look really very awesome. awesome. I think John Woo, if he uses cell phones a lot, probably does use cell phones a lot. Probably, but he's pretty old. Yeah. So we have a guy who walks through a nightclub and uses his cell phone to find out who in the room has HIV. Yes. And who is working for people. Who has bad credit scores? If they're gonna beat him up. Yeah. And then um, he goes, beats up a Navy SEAL, and then changes a light and has somebody crack. Just go see it. Just go yes. watch it. The game actually looks phenomenal, and besides um, Far Cry, which was the other one I saw, uh, Far Cry 3, that I liked a lot, of, yes. um, that looks like one of the best games we're going to see at E3, especially since the big three have have not, or not, have done their things already. Yes. They've done their conferences. They've, they've, they've pulled out their singers. Uh, so one last question for you, Adam, is you don't have to explain anything. Out of those three, Sony, uh, Nintendo, and Microsoft, whose press conference did you think is best? To me, out of all of the games that I saw, and I really, I don't own an Xbox, I really like the Halo and Gears of War, mm -hmm. but the only game to make me feel feelings was The Last of Us. I agree with that. I, and, and, and I will agree with you, uh, the Watch Dogs looked amazing, and I want to play the game. But it didn't make me feel dirty, like <laughs> watching The Last of Us, and make me think like I'm I'm gonna have to make those decisions, and I think I'm gonna be even more cruel than that man who played it. All right, you guys, uh, that's all we have for today's show. 
uh, for news, reviews, previews, and E3 information, head on over to elder-geek.com. Uh, go ahead and comment on this YouTube video, and maybe we'll read one of your comments tomorrow. Let us know what you thought of what we talked about while we were here today, and we will see you tomorrow for more E3 coverage and Elder Speak. Thanks, and have a good night.